Hi everyone! If you've seen my videos before, you might notice something a little bit different. I finally got my steth, and to me, this stethoscope isn't just any old stethoscope, and if you want to learn a little bit more about why, then keep watching the video. decided if I'm going to talk the entire time with the stethoscope around my neck, it feels a little bit um, pretentious, shall we? Um, so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what the stethoscope ceremony actually is. So if you're from North America, so Canada, the United States, you've probably heard of white coat ceremonies and how med schools will give students a white coat either the first week in, sort of after orientation, or a lot of the time after their first big test. So that sort of ceremony and that sort of welcome to medicine isn't as popular in Australia, except Macquarie does something pretty special. They give us a stethoscope, a special red stethoscope like you saw me wearing that's engraved with our school name on it to welcome us into the cohort. It happens to be after a mid-semester test, which makes you kind of feel like you worked for it. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty unique ceremony in Australia, quite common in the US and Canada. I know in Canada, U of T does stethoscopes instead of white coats, um, but I don't know of any other schools that do it, and I don't know of any schools in Australia that do. Correct me if I'm wrong, comment below. But yeah, I think it's something really special and something really cool that the Macquarie MD has decided to do. So what is it? Um, it's kind of like a convocation or graduation. You know, we go up in a line, they say our name, they give us a stethoscope instead of a degree, and then we sit in a line and we recite an oath. The cool thing about the Macquarie MD is we actually write our own oath. So myself, uh, Matthew, and Kim, and Mohammed got together and we kind of brainstormed and wrote an oath, and the year before us wrote their own as well. We chose to include a snippet of their oath in ours in sort of like a tradition aspect. So we don't recite the Hippocratic Oath, we write our own oath written by our peers, and it was an amazing experience to be able to, you know, have a hand in writing that. During the ceremony, there's a couple of keynote speakers, so obviously the Dean of Medicine and the head of our faculty speak, and they impart words of wisdom upon us, um, which, you know, has been really already really poignant. Listening to them was really special, and you can tell that they really care about what they said and the wisdom that they were cho choosing to share with us and the stories that they were choosing to share. For me, educating medical students, mentoring young doctors, and seeing them flourish is one of the most rewarding and enjoyable experiences that a person could have. And most importantly, as this, your journey begins, never forget those two gifts. The gift of roots to belong to this great profession and the gift of wings to take you and your life in presently unimaginable directions, all in the service of others. Um, and then afterwards we just have sort of a meet and greet with our family and some of the professors and some of the colleagues and you know a little bit of like light lunch and they gave tours of our facilities to um, our parents and our guests and things like that. I was gonna say there's no there's no bodies. I can actually take a. Oh, that's so sad. So we, yeah, we can do whatever stuff. We can actually talk through it as well. So we've got the technology set up. So that's the gist of what it is. Um, and now I can chat a little bit more about why I think it's so special um, and some of the things that I think they did really well. So first, let's talk about some of the things that Macquarie did really well. I think having us write our own oath makes it really, really special um, and really meaningful. Um, in a small cohort, obviously, we know pretty much everyone even by like the first couple weeks. So knowing your friends that are writing the, the oath, you can provide input, but you also know it's really meaningful and it's coming from someone within your group. It's not being like prescribed to you. As an international student, something that I actually suggested was why not stream the ceremony? And they were able to figure that out, and that alone was really nice. I know my mom had a dinner party back home um, and invited over some friends and family. They had dinner and then watched the ceremony. Uh, I think it was like 9 p.m. their time. It was 11 a.m. our time. So that was really special that they felt they got to watch and be involved. But even better than just putting on the stream and talking about it, the 
welcoming address and the keynotes all made an effort to specifically address the people tuning in worldwide. So it wasn't just, oh, welcome friends, family here and abroad. It was every once in a while, anytime they talked about support, they would make a point of looking up. Obviously at the streaming camera and as an international student, knowing I had friends and family watching abroad, that really made me feel valued and I know my parents and friends said it felt really good to actually be addressed. Um, so something really little but made it really special for a good amount of us. And I had friends who are Australian just from different parts of Australia and they couldn't have their family come visit so it was just as special for them even though they are Australians, right? Um, some other things that they did really well. It was really well organized, you know, just in general. and. It's just a really nice way, it really makes you feel like you are now part of something and you now belong to something bigger than yourself. I mean, we all have red steths and we see the second years with the red steths and that's going to become a thing. And a lot of my friends were saying, it feels like it started now. Um, there's no more pinch me, is it real? I feel like I'm here. I'm going to stay here, hopefully. And we are a part of this now, we're not just kind of sitting on the edge waiting to tap in or be put in by the coach, if that makes any sense. Something else that I think Macquarie did really well is the aftercare of us getting our stethoscope. So when you get a Lippmann stethoscope, you get um, the ability to turn this pediatric diaphragm into a bell, so a little rubber ring, and this can pop off and then you have the bell, which is obviously more useful for us as we are not learning peds things yet. Eventually, a girl can dream. You get extra um, little rubber bits on the ends, and obviously there's like the box that it comes in, which just helps for storage and things. So after the ceremony, a couple days after, we got an email saying that we could come pick it up. Um, and not only do they just give us the box with the extra bits, we got a pen light as like a nice little extra and they also took care to print out an extra program of the day for each and every one of us. So for those of us that like things like that, like me, uh, we now have one that you know hasn't been folded or put into the jacket pocket or anything. Nice, crisp, and it says everything that happened that day, all of the speakers, as well as has our oath written on the back. Um, so you know, just another little touch to show that they're thinking about us and that they care how we're doing and they didn't just want to toss us the steth and us never be able to use it the only way we know how, um, i.e. with the bell instead of the peds diaphragm. But. So why did I want to make a whole video about the stethoscope ceremony? I mean, yes it's amazing, I wish I had sort of vlogged it more but I didn't feel comfortable taking my camera out so I've inserted some clips along the way. But why is it so special to me? And that answer is kind of twofold. First, it's full circle. Um, so if you've watched any of my videos about my journey here, um, then you may have noticed that I mentioned watching a summary of the Macquarie MD welcome ceremony from last year. Um, and watching that video was when I really realized that I want Macquarie and I don't want any other school. I've just been, I've been having moments throughout the day where I've been more or less nervous. Um, sometimes I just kind of forget and I'm working away and then other times I, like my heart starts racing and I'm obviously very nervous. I'm very excited too. But like right now, <laughs> um, it's just, yeah. I really want this. So it's a little like, it's a little silly but the highlights of that and the values that Macquarie demonstrated to me by having a stethoscope ceremony and a welcome ceremony um, and some of the highlights of the speeches that they showed in that video. Honestly, it gives me goosebumps when I watch it. I got goosebumps when I was sitting there. I think it almost made me cry the video once as I was prepping for MMIs and it just really summarizes I think what Macquarie is all about and how it wants to connect with its students. It wants its students to feel part of a community and supported and it wants its students to know that they are chosen and they are here and that there are people that they can be learning from that have real stories and real knowledge to impart on them but that they as students are just as much part of the learning and the teaching as anyone else with the red staff. So. 
it's all kind of summarized in one ceremony, but it is kind of full circle. And I actually had uh, someone comment on my Instagram to sort of look at me now. It was about a year ago, I was watching the stethoscope ceremony and thinking, oh, I can't wait to be there. I hope that's me. And now it's me. So that was really special. And the second reason why it's really special is to me what the stethoscope represents. And I'm really glad that McCory chose to do a stethoscope ceremony instead of a white coat ceremony. Now I know everything about white coat culture is kind of dependent on where you are um, and where you live. I mean, I have rarely seen people wear white coats in Canada, but I haven't spent a lot of time in hospitals. Um, and I've been told in Australia it's quite rare to see full white coats and things as a distinguishment of doctor, med student versus a nurse versus a physio or something like that. It doesn't seem to be as much of a white coat culture here where it might be in some hospitals in the United States. But still, to me, a stethoscope is a symbol of communication. You know, it is me as a med student and eventually a doctor listening to the patient physically, seeing what information their body can provide me to support their health and their health care, where a white coat instead is a symbol of power. It is I am doctor, med student, eventually doctor, my word is law, you respect me because of the coat. The stethoscope is a communication, it is a conversation, and kind of symbolizes all of that, where the white coat is more of a wall and more of a, a step, distinguishing doctor from patient. And I don't like that as much. Obviously, if I'm at a hospital and I'm supposed to wear a white coat, I will wear a white coat. But I'm just glad that they chose to put the emphasis on the communication tool instead of the hierarchy symbol. Um, it also is just really nice to be given a stethoscope. I mean, they're not cheap. It's a good quality. It's a Lippmann 3M. Obviously, it's a necessary cost that you budget into when you're planning on becoming a med student. You think, I will probably need a steth at some point. Obviously, in our first few weeks before we got our official steths, we had practice steths in our clinical tutorial rooms. But it's just really nice for your school to give you a tool and say, hey, this is going to help. And, you know, you don't have to worry about that extra cost or something. And yeah, and it's really nice. It's engraved with our class or our school name on it. So it just makes you feel like you're representing something bigger than yourself. And it just feels so good on. <laughs> but that's all I have to say about um, the stethoscope ceremony and why I think it's so important. I just wanted to be able to, I'd say sit down, but stand here and you know, say my piece and record it for posterity, but also share a little bit of information about something Macquarie does that is pretty unique in Australia. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's a special place, I think.